Okay, so it's officially Apple Day. I have received my iPhone 15, which I am very excited about. But the unfortunate thing about being a content creator and working full time is that it's half two in the afternoon right now, which means I can't open this, uh, no matter how much I want to, because I need to film and want to film. So that means until half five, this has to sit on the side of my desk, staring at me, which is going to be very hard not to just rip it open and just set it up. So let's hope half five comes very, very quickly. So my desk setup is actually the first thing that I've filmed with the new iPhone 15. I wanted to film my desk setup in low light situation because even my Sony camera sometimes does struggle filming my desk setup. And I think it's because of the big lamp in the corner and the light on the back of my monitor. It can be a struggle to get a clear picture sometimes, one that's just not overexposed or has too many reflections but keeps a sharp image. So I thought this would be a great test to put it through its paces. From seeing the edited footage, I am really, really impressed. I came from the iPhone 13, but the base model 13. So I didn't have any of the pro cameras and I didn't really use my iPhone 13 to record anything. I used it at the beginning of starting social media because that's all I had, I didn't have a camera. So I just used my iPhone. And back then my desk setup wasn't where it was, so it was a lot easier, but it got to a point where the iPhone 13 base model cameras just couldn't keep it up. It just, I, it just didn't give me the quality that I want to over a Sony camera. So I'm really impressed with this and there's probably going to be a lot of situations in the future where I might grab my iPhone over my camera.
So I've jotted down a couple of questions to round this video off. I think this will be a segment that I'll do in most of my YouTube videos where I'll try and end it or incorporate a Q&A session into the video. So for the first question I've jotted down is, why have I started a YouTube channel? A YouTube channel has always been something that I've wanted to start for pretty much as long as I can remember. And I think it's taken me quite a long time to actually start a YouTube channel because I didn't know what type of content I would create when I had a YouTube channel. But because I went on the journey of social media and I was able to slowly progress and find out what type of content I enjoy making, it's now made me feel at ease of what type of content I want to create for my YouTube channel. So the type of content I like to create is relaxing cinematic content. So that's what I'm trying to incorporate. I've obviously taken massive inspiration from a lot of YouTubers that I follow, like Daniel Simmons, if you follow him. I've taken so much inspiration from his videos because at the start of this YouTube channel, I have no clue what my style is, but I'm hoping as I progress and make more YouTube videos, I'll be able to find my own style and make it my own. The next question is, why designer with an asterisk? So basically just the title at the start of this video. That's sort of a name that I've came up with or a title for this series, this like cinematic vlog series because though I'm a designer and that's what people know me for and a lot of the content that I create is around the design industry but I like to create content around so much um, you know I'm not just a designer I'm a photographer I'm a videographer I'm a desk setup nerd so I feel like when someone says that he's a designer or they're a designer you can't just simply put yourself in that sort of box though I do design as a job that's not just who I am so but this is what I want to do I want to show everyone a bit more about me and not just about my desk or my designs 